The Philippines has a long history of accepting refugees from other Asian countries and even as far as Europe. It provided sanctuary to hundreds of refugees who fled from Vietnam during the Civil War in the 1970s. They built a Vietnamese village in the western island of Palawan before eventually resettling in other countries. But the recent plan to resettle asylum seekers who attempt to reach Australia by boat is not quite the same. Australia has reportedly offered over $100 million to the Philippine government in a span of five years to take the refugees, something that officials here have strongly denied. In this uh, recent issue of uh, migration and refugees, uh, uh, we can consider, uh, but uh, at the same time we have to take into account our own resources and capabilities. Refugees who have tried to reach Australia's shores have been sent to hundreds of prisons on Manus Islands in Papua New Guinea and the tiny Pacific Island nation of Nauru, where the living conditions are difficult for many. Cambodia has previously agreed to resettle refugees who tried to reach Australia by boat. But the $55 million arrangement has been criticized by many. Australia has long taken a hard-line stand on asylum seekers who tried to reach its shores by boat. Its government says the policy is mainly to prevent deaths at sea. I want to reiterate today in the strongest possible terms that the resolve of uh, the Prime Minister and myself, the whole of NSC, the whole of the Cabinet and of the government is to make sure that we don't allow deaths at sea to recommence, uh, that we absolutely are determined to stare down the threat from people smugglers and to not allow the boats to recommence. But the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees says since Australia is a signatory to the 1951 UN Convention on Refugees, it has a responsibility to do more. Is it fair for a member state to transpose its responsibility to another member state? That's an important question which must be answered uh, you know, in full consultation with all concerned stakeholders. Rights groups here say Australia can very well afford to look after its asylum seekers. And it is a burden to resettle them in a country that is largely impoverished. Also, more than just a potential international backlash for President Aquino's government, they also worry that resettling asylum seekers here may mean enticing more human smugglers to consider the Philippines a drop-off point too. Jamal Lindogan, Al Jazeera, Manila.